Hello everybody, welcome to episode 2 of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, last time, we got all the way up to this tower, and we heard Zelda warn us about the pig thing flying around Hyrule Castle. So, this time, we'll be, uh, you know, I guess, learning how to stop it. Um, yeah, so let's, let's, let's go. Uh, I guess we just gotta scale down the tower. Not very elegantly, obviously, but... Uh, we don't have... Mm, no, no spoilers, no spoilers. And climbing down all that way would be a bit much. Oh, oh, what? Not this guy again. My, my, it would seem you have quite the enigma here. We have, dang it. This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land one after another. It is almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur when you were atop that tower? I heard a voice. Well now, a voice, you say. And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? No. I see. Well, that is unfortunate. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity enshrouding the castle. That is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom to, of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of, king, of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its br blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? I mean, if you want me to. I had a feeling you would say that. Here, on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs and no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be another story. Paraglider? <laughs> oh, piqued your interest, have I? Yes, I didn't come down here on my own feathery wings, you know. Were we not, I would happily agree to give you my paraglider, but not for nothing. Excuse me. Let's see now. How would I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? The isolated plateau. All right. I can press plus to open my adventure log. Come, let me show you something. Okay, Boomer. So, okay, so these are my, basically my quests. So I gotta follow him. Oh my gosh, so look at how slow he is. I'm just saying. So yeah, um, I was gonna say something, I forget. So what do you want, old man? Do you see that structure there, the one shining with a strange light? It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. Okay. I would think such a place would house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for a paraglider, a fair exchange, I believe. Okay, sure. Um, okay, so he wants us to get what's ever in that little whatever little pedestal. Looks like we got um, an old decayed looking robot here. Got a spring for that. Nice. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, you can swim in this game. And you can uh, do this if you... Okay, I didn't get to show it. You can dash, basically, but it uses up your stamina. But you can run to use your Stamina. Makes you go quicker, but if you run out, I'll show what happens. Yeah, you have to wait until it fills up, and you go slower than normally walking. So just, I like to just do this, and then keep running. I don't know. So this is the Oman Ow Shrine. Oh, uh, by the way, this is a DLC chest. Uh, if you buy the DLC, there's a 
chest here. Nice ruby. It doesn't really give you all that much, but a ruby, which is nice. Tap my Nintendo Switch copyright system onto there. Giga Sight confirmed. And that starts to glow. Travel gate registered to map. Access granted. And that should open that. And we head inside. Uh. Do, 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 do. So as I'm recording this, um, the first Super Smash Brothers everything on Mario should come out in about in uh, two hours and like ten minutes. So it's exciting. Uh, it's not like anything I've ever done before on the channel. So I'll see if people like it. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am, oh man, ow. In this name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Magnesis trial, the oh man, ow. Man, ow. Okay. Seek a site authenticated. Distilling room. Magnesis, little magnet, rune extracted. So, this is our first rune that we have in the game, basically. And with runes, they it's like a power, like a superpower, right? You press a button, and now I'm using the Magnesis rune, and I can click on this and move any metal object, because, you know, Magnesis. That's how it works. Um, anyways, we'll go up the shrine. We have, see, I can't move these stone blocks, but I can move this metal block. Basically how it works. And over there, there's a little robot. Can I crush it? Oop. Oop. Okay, that's not going to work. Let's just fight it. Okay, this guy. Let's change our weapon. Oh, Boko Club's fine. This guy can shoot lasers, so you can hide behind the blocks, or you can try and block it with your shield, which I didn't show last time. And then boom, basically just give it a couple hits and he's, he's done for. I'd also like to point out that there's a hard mode for this game if you buy the DLC. Um, Basically, enemies have more health, and they regenerate health if you don't attack them for a long time. And, um, it's just harder, but, uh, this is normal mode, so I, I'm not playing on that. Just wanted to point that out. And here we have a Traveler's Bow. Did we have a bow yet? I don't, I think that's our first bow. And if you remember, we got some arrows by, uh, killing a guy. So, yeah, we can do that now. Open that gate up and we have this weird looking monk in here. So let's see what they have to say. They look dead, but... You have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I am Omen Ao, the creator of this trial. Man, just that hurts. I am a humble monk, blessed with the sight of the goddess Hylia, and dedicated to helping those who seek refuge of Ganon. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. In the name of goddess Hylia, I allow me to bestow a gift. Allow me to bestow this gift upon you. Please accept this spirit orb, which probably is what the old man wanted. I mean, I don't know what else would be in this place that he would want, right? Right? Oh, oh, casual heart attack. Casual heart attack. Anyways, nice. And that also refills my health, just if you want to know. Every time you get... I'm, I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> Every sentence I spoil something. 
All right, and that is. Let's go back to the old man and see what he has to say about that. Hey, dude, I got your thing. What's up? Can I have the paraglider now? Thanks. It seems you have managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. How'd you know? Clairvoyance. Oh, ho, perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what is right before one's own eyes. However, that which was once hidden from view can often be crystal clear. But perhaps that is not true for everyone, oh ho! The appearance of those towers and the awakening of this shrine... It is all connected to that Sheikah Salate on your, that you carry on your hip there. Can I just have the paraglider, dude? I have yet to finish speaking! Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time hidden away in a shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across the land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me treasure from each of those shrines, and I will give you my paraglider. That wasn't a deal. Oh, well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young go-getter like you. Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. It's always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. Uh, let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? Got it. I admire your eagerness, but allow me to teach you something else before you go. Take a look at that map on your Sheikah slate. You see these blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you woke, the shrine you came from, and the tower. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah slate. Or so I heard some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. Well, before we test that out, I just want to use my magnesis. I can, you see, even in, you know, regular place, you can lift magnetic things. And look at that, I got a roasted bass and a couple arrows. And down there is a treasure chest, which you might not have been able to see if you, you know, didn't use it. Kicked it from the back, I meant to kick it from the front. but. And then there's another one right here which you can pull towards you. And what's in here? Amber. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Anything else? There's a little log, but we don't really need that. Um. So yeah, let's see what he said, and if it's actually true. Okay. Go over to here. Oh, and it looks like we're going. So yeah, with the Sheikah Slate you can basically fast travel and teleport to wherever you want. So since the map is so big, you can just it's way quicker than actually walking there. Which is good. How did he get here? He was what he was standing there. Huh? What 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 is it? I'm surprised it took you so long to catch up with an old man like me. How did you Oh ho, leave an old man his secrets now then. I wanted you, you to join me up here so you could use this as a vantage point for search for shrines. Did you know about the scope on your Sheikah slate? Look through it and you can stick a pin anywhere you'd like to mark on the map. Okay. The pins on your map serve as reference points for your travels. Just stick a pin anywhere you're interested in. Uh, how do you know? Experience, wisdom, instinct, call it what you will and believe if only you, only if you please. Go ahead and take a look and feel inclined to do so. Alright, so from this tower, we got. We, we gotta find, uh. shrines. I already spotted one during that whole thing. Right there. And now, he said there were three shrines, so we gotta find two more. Oh! This is like, where's Waldo? I found another one. Here. And. Uh, oh! I found the third one. It's very small, but if you look, right there. 
and then you can pin them and you open up your map. Here are the four, three other shrines. Okay, so now I could either, you know, before we go and tackle those shrines, uh, I want to teleport back to here. Just, just real quick, okay? Do, 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 do. Okay, so now that we're here, I would like to show you something. Uh, we haven't done much this episode. Oh, sorry for the beeping. Uh, okay, so we haven't done much this episode. Uh, we went in that shrine, but other than that, we haven't done much. So I don't want to spend the rest of the episode just, you know, walking to the next one. I want to do something fun to end it off. So I believe... It, for those who have played the game, you might know what I'm talking about. Uh, we're going to go in this forest, right? There's no shrine in this forest. Um, but let's go off the beaten path a bit, alright? There's a bunch of stuff uh, in this forest you can do, especially a lot of collectibles. I'll get into those later, um, once we find one. But, yeah, there is one big thing in this forest that I would like to do. Now I just gotta find where it is. Here's a little fire. Fun fact, if you sit by the fire you can pass time, meaning that you can make it morning, noon, night. We're not, I think it's fine right now. Um, but yeah, if you ever did, I have actually used that feature multiple times. Because more enemies spawn at night, so you can sleep to make it morning. Here's a boar which you can I know it's like kinda gruesome but I mean you need the food right <laughs> and here it is alright oh board please don't hurt me there should yep yeah, it's there's a big open area right now what's in the open area doesn't look like it I'm gonna equip something uh, let's tree branch, right? <laughs> this is probably not a good idea. I'm going to do it anyways. Oh, look at all these. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is fighting this stone talus. Um, this is, I think, the only boss on the Great Plateau. Well, it's a mini boss. And you usually have to wait until you have, you know, better gear and better armor and stuff to fight one of these guys, but I wanna, I wanna take it hard. What you gotta do, you gotta climb up their backs, first dodge their attacks, then dodge their attacks, climb up their backs, and then hit their little, whatever that, like an ore deposit, I think that is. All right, so yeah, make sure to dodge. Okay, okay, I so narrowly. So now he doesn't have any arms, but he can regenerate as you just saw. Oh, wait, I'm gonna lose stamina. Oh, I lost stamina, I lost stamina. Okay. 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 Okay, let's walk around, walk around. Okay, okay. You might have to wait until he attacks, until you can actually get behind him. Alright. Jump up there. And go, 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 go. I actually might not have enough weapons to beat this guy. This might... I might have to do it. Okay. Yeah, see, it's badly damaged. Oh, and I'm off again. And I'm off again. Okay, 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 okay. I, this was a bad idea. I thought it would be fun, but there's no way I can beat him. Um, as you see, when you, you when you hit his ore deposit, he drops, uh, you know, ores. So right there is a piece of amber. Very good way to, you know, farm for that stuff if you need it. And sword broke. Let's take out the axe. Yeah, after a little bit, he'll fall to the ground. With, um... Two-handed weapons, you can actually do this and, like, spin. Okay, I'm gonna heal because I am getting a bit low, and if he hits me, he can, like, take me out one shot. So I'm gonna go back to full health. Okay, okay. Climb the back. Come on, come, climb the back. Climb the back. Oh, oh no, I fell. Okay, this is not good. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for no commentary, it's just this is very stressful. Yeah, so this is one of, um... 
about like four mini bosses in the game. Um, yeah, there are a bunch of different types, but this is the only mini boss on the plateau in the first area. There's no way I can beat him. This thing's gonna break in two seconds. Unless an axe is more durable than... Okay, okay, okay. Okay, he, he flung me off, he flung me off. He flung me off. Get around, get around. Just hit me, hit me, hit me. Well, don't actually hit me, just aim for me. Jump up. As you see, it's getting night. It's getting dark, because it's nighttime. There, the theme also changes when it's, you know, um, when you're fighting a mini boss. I always, that always wastes all of my stamina. I gotta wait until it regenerates till I can climb again. I'm gonna actually wait for the stamina, and then go, 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 gone! Oh shoot, it's badly damaged. On its last, and I, um, I think you might know this already, I forget. It was at this moment that he knew. But on a... Okay, I'll be back in like two seconds. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm back. Uh, he's almost down for it. My axe just broke. Um, literally just did, but I have some arrows, so we'll see if I can try and snipe him to finish him off. If not, we still have the torch. And that... Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, the reason I died was because these, um... This is not meant for, uh, when you have three stars. Three, not three stars, three hearts. This is definitely not meant for that. This is meant for when you, uh... Okay, okay, okay. Uh, fireflies are there. They don't really... I could pick one up, but they don't really do anything. I'm gonna eat because I need to. <laughs> Okay, um, okay, okay, please, please, this is, this is hard, if you couldn't tell. You cannot get hit by this guy when you're at this low, you know, this early in the game. And climb up his back, climb up his back. You might be able to finish off, finish this guy off with arrows. Okay, pull out the, pull out the torch. A torch isn't a very good weapon, but it will finish him off. Let's go. Yeah, you would never use a torch as a weapon, but um, when he only has that much health left, that's good. So let me pick up. It's he gives you a lot of loot, right? A lot of amber, a lot of gems, a lot of stuff. So uh, that was that was fun. Um, we might. That was probably one of the easier <laughs> ones of those. Some of them have way more health and are way more strong. So that was. Uh, you see on the map, uh, there's an X right there, meaning I died. And so that's where we're going to have the episode today. Uh, I actually want to do something fun uh, this episode and interact with you guys a bit. So I want you guys to pick which shrine we go to first. We can go, well, we'll say red, blue, and yellow. Type in the comments which one you want. So we can go to red shrine, which I think is the one you're supposed to go to first. Blue shrine, which... Uh, it's it's all right and then yellow shrine which i think is the hardest one to get to so we can go bl red blue or yellow right blue isn't hard but it's definitely not the one you're supposed to go to first this one can be hard to get to so yeah tell me who you want um and i'll see you guys next time yeah bye